So firstly, let's bust the biggest myth about vibe coding, that anyone can do it. It's true to some extent, but what after AI generates your code? Do you understand any of that and modify as per your requirements? You've probably seen videos of YouTube devs casually whipping up entire apps in a few hours. But here's the truth. Vibe coding looks effortless because these devs already have years of experience under their belt. They know the ins and outs of coding, debugging, and designing systems. For a junior developer, trying to do the same thing can quickly turn into chaos. Imagine trying to cook a five-course meal when you can barely make scrambled eggs. That's vibe coding for a junior dev. You might get lucky with one or two features, but soon you'll hit bugs, misunderstand architecture, or rely on AI to do things you don't fully understand. And that's why so many beginners get frustrated. The code may run, but it's often messy, hard to maintain, and doesn't teach you the fundamentals you actually need to grow as a developer. So before you jump into the vibe, you need to understand the risks and know whether you're ready to ride this wave or if you should first build a stronger foundation first. All right, let's learn why junior developers struggle with vibe coding. 